I was transparent in the beginning. Yes, I was. I did say I was taking okay, voice have a great notes. Day. Well, yeah, okay. Have a great day. No, that's fine. Both, bye, both bye, bye bye. Thank, notes, thank, you. thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have, have a, a good day. day. All right. Well, that uh, that pretty much went left. <laughs> All right. Well, that that pretty much went left. So, guys, let me let me let you what what just transpired. So, a company out of Nebraska just reached out to me via text message, and I'm not sure if they knew how they knew who I was because in the text message they mentioned me by my my name, Lockout. They didn't mention me by my 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 name name they didn't mention me by my government name right so they mentioned me by lockout so i'm not sure if they knew who they was reaching out to or anything of that matter but here's what they got to offer so a company out of nebraska come to find out the name of the company is nebraska ugh, nebraska atlantic transportation and by their website, the truck looks pretty good. Look at that long nose. I, I don't know if that's going to be one of the trucks that you guys will be driving, but I'm just saying that long nose Kenworth is is pretty damn mean. But from but from the information that I have gathered from this young lady, they're looking for people to drive the Midwest and a little bit of the South. They're a small company. The hiring areas uh, is pretty much in the Ohio area, Pennsylvania area. So the, the Midwest areas right there is where they can hire you out of. Everything was going good in the conversation all the way up until the part where she said they got 30-year drivers that's making 60 cent a mile. 30-year drivers. I, I want to ask you. I want to ask you, you. You've been driving for 30 years. 30 years and you guys get a phone call from a recruiter that's offering you 60 cent a mile. Are you going to take that? Are are you going to take it? I'm just curious. I would like to know. I, I, I know the job market out here is hard, but are you going to take 60 cent a mile? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, 30-year driver. Five-year driver, yes. Brand new driver, yes. A two-year driver, yes. But 30 years? You've been driving out here for 30 years. Are you going to take a 60 cent a mile? Now, I usually they would be like, well, based on your experience, that's how much you'll be making. So, driver, we have a company call review that I want to talk about in today's topic. I wonder which company is this. We're heading to Nebraska, where a truckload company out of Nebraska by the name of Nebraska Atlantic Transportation. They're located in La Vista, Nebraska, and they're looking for you, driver. They have the amenities. They have a driver apartment. They got washing machine, dryers, pool tables, TVs. They got yeah, it all. The catch? They got it all. And what's, when you go to their, the well, I will tell you what's the catch. When you go to their website, they have this nice long nose Kenworth. Now, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if if that's one of the trucks that you're going to be driving but it just shows that that's one of the trucks that they might have in their fleet for you driver hmm. is it manual it might be it might be we actually didn't get that far in the conversation the conversation went downhill let's talk about it so a company reached out to me in my text message they mentioned me by lockout i'm not sure if they knew who i was 
or what I do. This is what they got to offer, driver. And this might work out for you because you said you're looking, you're, you're still in the market. And as you guys know that this is not a driver's market no more. But you said you're in the market and they're seeking a regional OTR truck driver. Regional, regional, regional now. Hold on. It's Midwest regional. And I will tell you what they're hiring out of. They're hiring out of Nebraska, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio. Yeah, Nebraska, which they, that's where they're out of. Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And with this regional route driver, you will be home every week or every weekend, I should say. Now, let me tell you what their fleet is. Their fleet, unfortunately, is reefer. I'm not sure if they have any other divisions because when I asked her, she pretty much said that they only have a reefer trailer. So a lot of uh, waiting when it comes to reefer. If you drove reefer, then what I'm talking about, them wait times could be atrocious. It could be Ooh. atrocious. But still, the conversation that I had with the young lady was pretty good. It was going well, in my opinion, until when I started questioning the 60 cent per mile. Now, they pay in benefits, 60 cent per mile. They reimburse you for your cell phone. They pay unloading. So if you have to unload the trailer, they will pay you. They pay for your stops. You have yearly bonuses. You got full insurance. So if you're a driver that's looking for a company that's paying for your insurance, this is a company that does that. They pay full insurance, but you gotta see about the deductible. See if the deductible is, is one way. And if it's more, then you probably might have to pay out of pocket in order to get that other deductible. Life insurance, you're home weekly. If you're out in Nebraska for any reason, they have a driver apartment. Their requirements is two years of OTR continuance, 24 years of age, and you have to have a CDL. Let's go back to what they have sent me. I, I pretty much went over everything that's in this article, basically about the same thing that they sent to me in the text message. So again, send them out, full health insurance, along with life insurance, and your home weekly. So let's get into the conversation that I had with them or with her. So I reached out to them because they, they text me. Uh, the young lady that would normally would talk to drivers, obviously she was a little bit busy. Not a problem. So she sent me over to her cohort. Young lady gets on the phone and she started asking me forwarding questions like, how long have I been driving? What type of home time I'm looking for and stuff like that. Now, let me just stop the show. I'm good with, with them asking forwarding questions, but this is what you guys want to do. Y'all, y'all want to ask the questions that you have, because let's say, for example, you tell them, Hey, I'm out of Texas. And then they could turn around and be like, Oh, well, we don't hire out of Texas or I'm out of North Carolina. Oh, I'm, we don't hire out of North Carolina. So when you ask the question this way, instead of having them to ask you a forwarding question, like what you out of, ask them a question of what areas that they hiring out of. Because if you do that, then you can probably pinpoint yourself in the area that you might end up moving to maybe, or an area that you might want to settle down in. It doesn't necessarily have to be you're out of Ohio, but you're planning on moving to Georgia, but you still want to keep your Ohio residence. But when you be like, oh, I'm moving down to Georgia. Oh, we're hiring out of Georgia. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. So it's cool that they can ask you forwarding questions, but it's better to have your own set of questions. So the conversation was going pretty good. She was asking forwarding questions and stuff like that. And then I came back around and I started asking my questions. Like how much experience do you require? She said that they have like 10 and 20 and 30 year drivers. Fortunately, they don't accept SAP drivers, but if you work for the company, okay, if you work for the company 
and you get popped in the SAP program, then they might be able to help you out that way. Uh, the drug test is urine, but if they feel some kind of way, they could invoke the hair follicle on you. And again, I just mentioned the higher area. So pretty much the higher areas that they're hiring out of, it's pretty much the route that you're gonna be driving. So let me just say it again, which is Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Nebraska, probably the upper north where Minnesota and all that little that little area, the cul-de-sac of the, of the Midwest regional. Let's continue with the conversation that I had with the young lady, which again was good up until she said they have and I quote, 30 year drivers making 60 cent in mile. Now, how, how long have you been driving? Over 10 years? Okay. Now, since you got a little bit over 10 years of experience and that this is not a driver's market anymore, would you drive for a 60 cent a mile? You said six zero? Yes, it's zero. Mm, I'm, I'm at six cent now, so. so so six zero, you 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 would accept six zero, right? Sixty cent a mile. No, no. You wouldn't no. accept it. You you wouldn't accept it, but it, it's ten cent more than what you're making now, right? Okay. And you have relatively about about a little. I'll say about ten years or more, right? Okay. I got about the same amount, say about 10 years. Okay. Well, not the same amount of you. I came in in 2015. You came in in 2020, what, 2005. So yeah, you, you got, you got more than me, but, but I'm just saying around, around 10 year ish or so. Okay. Question. This is the question that I, that I'm throwing out to my 30 year drivers. Would you come in and drive for a company for 60 cent a mile? I, I, in my humble opinion, I just think that is way too low for, for those drivers with that, that amount of time. 60 cent is a little bit on the low side. And when I question that. Yeah, but she, you didn't, she didn't, or you didn't say, um, wait time. If it's over two hours, you get paid detention time or anything like that or getting paid per hour to offload you know your own trail and put that in well no unfortunately we didn't even get to that because we were still on the cent per mile <laughs> so she asked me well how much do you make a mile so I, I make more than 60 cent a mile and she got in her feelings like for real like she got in her feelings like Oh, okay, well, I just think you need to stay where you was at. Let me put this in perspective, recruiter. You reached out to me. I did not reach out to you. Let's let's make that abundantly clear. And again, being that you reached out to me, I'm not even sure if you knew who I was when you reached out to me. You was. She wants you to advertise their business online. That's what it is. Well, I don't have a problem doing that. I, I don't have a problem doing that. I, I, I That's what I do. I, I will talk about the experience that I had with the phone call. I do that all the time. I don't have a problem with it. So... After everything that was all said and done, I, I say I, I don't think 60 cent a mile is going to work for me. But what I'll do is I'll share the information. And she was like, well, who are you going to share the information with? I says, I'm in a Facebook group. I'll, I'll share the I'll share the information with my with my drivers that's in the Facebook group that might be interested in coming to drive for you for 60 cent a mile. I'm sure some of them would. Right. She turns around and tells me, oh, you're not being transparent. Wait, what? Excuse me? Okay, number one, I was asking questions about what you guys have to offer. What, what do I was pretty much straightforward with my questions. And then I did let you in the beginning before we started talking that I was taking voice notes. I said that. I said I'm taking voice notes so I can go back and go over the information that we talked about and I will probably share it with the people that might be interested in it so right what do you mean i'm not transparent i'm 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 pretty much transparent because i do let people know now when i make the call that i am taking voice notes 
Right. So yeah, and she got she got into her feelings. Like she was like, "Oh well, I I I thought this was for you." Well, yeah, actually, it is for me. It's for me to find out what you guys got to offer. And I'm I'm still interested to know what's what's going on now. We have competitive rates and all like that. Okay, right. Right. okay, I I get you. I don't have a problem with that competitive rates. But when you tell me, hey, you guys have. 30 year drivers there that's making 60 cent a mile i i'm i'm kind of questioning that like I, I i just need to know drivers if you're 30 years or more are you going to drive are you going to drive for 60 cent a mile and if so let us know why I'm, I'm sure there probably might be plenty of reasons why you would drive 60 cent a mile but overall i don't have no problems with this company i think this company is, is pretty dope for what they're offering yeah, but they in boom, they in boom fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. They they are in Nebraska, so you guys definitely gotta be careful. Uh, she did mention that they would get you out there by flight because now rental companies have issues with one way travel. So just do some more research. And speaking of research driver, because that's that's what I do when I come across companies let's head over to their reviews man now i want to say they got some pretty good reviews I, i'm i'm not gonna hold you they they only got like maybe two maybe two or three uh, one star but this particular one star isn't from a company driver is from somebody that was on the road that had an issue with one of their drivers so let's see what they say about it and I'm I'm curious to know, Atlantic, if this is one of your 30-year drivers. I'm I'm just curious. Help me out. I'm just saying. Hold on. All right. So on Friday, my mother picked me up for an appointment, and we were on Interstate 235 in the left lane. I noticed a blue semi truck get behind us and started flashing his brights all while he was riding my mother's rear end he's pretty much telling you to get over pretty much and i listen maybe it was traffic or whatever the case maybe you was going a little bit slower maybe you, it, it, did did you have some room to get over to let him over i look i don't know but we're going to continue i told my mom since she was in a conversation with me and did not notice she was already going over the speed limit and the roads was a bit slick the semi driver proceeds to go right in the right lane speeds up next to us getting close as he could to the car and almost touching it i began to panic my mother sped up a bit and started getting over in the right lane as our exit was approaching she gets over needing to get in front of him first to continue to get over the semi driver mm -hmm. kept speeding up staying on her rear and going into each lane behind us we got into the exit lane because our exit was very near we got off on exit six the driver continued to follow her we were turning left so we were in the left lane and the semi truck got into the right lane it was a red light so we had no choice other than to stay where we was at we had nowhere to go not even backwards this man opens his door and is screaming very angry at us almost oh, seems no. as if he was under the influence with how out of control he was before jumping down from his vehicle he grabbed a can of lysol and threw it at our windshield causing it to crack not just a small crack either after throwing the can he jumps out of his vehicle and starts pulling on my door handle passenger side my mother starts rolling down the window i don't know why you would do that to tell him to back off and he immediately tried to reach his hand inside quickly, pulling it out as soon as my mom started raising up the window. He was very, very close to grabbing me. I was terrified. 
Neither me and my moms show fear. And I feel as if that made him even more angrier. He starts hitting the side of the car after realizing it was doing nothing. He turns and pours out anger hits on the passenger side mirror, almost breaking it. He continued to scream, still very enraged. I was able to get the photos and video. I was very, very worried for my own safety, but knew my mother was there and she was a very strong woman. Anything could have went sideways. She would have protected me. Beyond that, I was mainly terrified for the fact that being that I am 36 weeks pregnant, he had got a hold of me in any kind of way. Oh my God. I was fearing for my own life and the life of my unborn child. I was under huge amount of stress in this situation. He did not hurt me physically, but he has very much did so mentally and emotionally. Me and my oh, wow. mother was on my way to my 36 week OBGYN appointment. When I got into my room, I was still in shock with what just had happened. My body was still shaking. I always had low blood pressure. So when the doctor took my blood pressure, it was extremely high. And then they quickly got worried about my child. Worried that my unborn child might be distressed from the panic I was feeling from the situation. So worried that they ran a test to make sure that everything was still okay. Thankfully, me and my baby was okay. But my blood pressure being high as it was truthfully goes to show how much fear that that man put me under. I don't drive often as I am already scared of others on the road, especially the interstate. And now after the situation, I am in, I am even in more worried what could happen. And I am soon to have a child riding in the back seat just makes me feel even more worried. I've been on the interstate two times, not driving, since Friday, and I noticed how after the situation, I've been so anxious and on guard of anyone and everything on the roadway more than before. I understand entirely having a rough day and just wanting to get where you are going. However, Nothing can excuse or justify this guy's actions on this day. He was very out of line, very unprofessional, very uncontrollable, clearly not caring for the company he is standing behind that he's supposed to be representing. And that company name is Atlantic or Nebraska Atlantic out of Nebraska. If you see this truck on the road, or even just the company logo, I unfortunately recommend to stay out of their way and make sure no issues can be found. They got about they got about six photos of this gentleman. They have six six well actually seven. They have seven photos of this gentleman getting out of his truck nebraska atlantic transportation and and almost breaking their windows so that's the that's that's the main review but overall from other drivers they're giving this company a four a five this driver says good people great company they treat you like family this driver says i worked for them for 10 years i got sick i was forced to retire i would still be there if i didn't have to this driver says awesome people to work for, good miles, great pay, and a lot of home time. They never leave you broke when you're working for them. And he says he will he's glad that another driver recommended him. This driver says family company that I have worked for for about 19 years, home weekly if I if I want and I have full benefits. So a couple of more this driver says, awesome people to work for. They truly treat you like family. 
And this driver says, by far the best company I driven for or drove for. So overall, like I said, the, 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 the company sounds like it's a pretty good, decent company. It just had that that bad apple with, with, with that road rage driver. And hopefully that driver is no longer with the company because it only takes one. It only it only takes one driver to to have a to have a reputation of a company turn sour. You see how it did for Swift, right? There you go, Prime. It only takes maybe one or two drivers to to tarnish a company's reputation. So hopefully hopefully that driver was let go because there's there's no reason there, there's no reason for all of that there's no reason for all of that what, what was the point driver what, what was the point you was trying to make driver what, what was all of that only thing you did was was put the lady in fear to the point of almost losing her baby bruh see every day on the road you see drivers tailgating just i mean just tailgating these four wheelers trying to you know make them move out the way even though trucks are supposed to be in the right lane you know and the, the, the four wheelers doing the speed limit why are you gonna get behind them and ride they right 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 their back half their tailgate the tailgate and, and god forbid somebody blows a tire and they you know god forbid that happens you know this driver hauling eighty thousand pounds going down like a semi, I mean, like a, a, a ship with no no captain, just, just run over these dang people. Yeah, yeah. What might have happened if, if he had a steer tire blowout? It could have been worse. Maybe, maybe driver, maybe you could have just backed off just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But it depends on if it's a two-lane highway, if the traffic was backed up. And the young lady in the post already said that her mom's was doing a little bit above the, the speed limit. So if it's like 70 and she was doing 75, that means you were speeding, bruh. On, on 235, it's, it's multiple highways. It's not, it's not two. It's multiple. But yeah, um, but yeah, that speed I, limit is like 65. Okay, okay. But if she was doing above the speed limit, and I'm just saying, I'm just paraphrasing what the speed limit could have been, 65, 70. And if you're still doing above that, that means you're speeding while you're tailgating her, right? I, I think what it is is that he was he, he he's doing 70 maybe the sh truck in front of him doing 65 60 he gets over in the in the left lane to pass the shrugel truck and then he comes to encounter the young lady and her and her mother now maybe the young lady and her mother couldn't get over at that time but she was able to get over because the exit was coming up but in that case, right. everything turned because the driver turned into an asshole. Instead of continuing down the way to where he's going to go, now he's going to go and intimidate the, the, the young lady and her mother. And then when you get up to the, the, the stoplight, you had the bright idea of getting out of the truck. Basically, what he did, what that driver did was actually road rage, stalking, two things, and uh, aggressive at the, the, the lady and, the, and her mom. That's three things they, that trucker did that was against the law. He should be in jail. Mm. I keep telling you, I, I keep telling y'all people, y'all y'all step out that truck. Y'all going to get the right person that's going to hit you in the face with a can of maize, pepper spray, and in my case, that good old wasp spray. I'm telling you, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna learn today, boy. I'm telling you, y'all gonna learn today. But overall, just overall, despite of what that driver had done to that young lady and her mother, as far as the company concerned, again, like I said, for me to talk to the recruiter, you know, she just got into her feelings because I guess af after I started questioning the 60 cent per mile and and whatnot, I guess she kind of feels like, oh, okay, well, he's not interested no more. Let me just go ahead and go to the next driver. And that's understandable. I Hey, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah, because basically what I'm doing is just information gathering. That's that's it. That's what I do. Not to say that the not not to turn around and bash your company, which is which I'm not doing. 
but drivers do come across rude recruiters obnoxious recruiters and sometimes the recruiters being that they are the gatekeepers to that company make the company look bad because of their rudeness but overall like i said i i i think from what i read from the driver's reviews and it's not much they don't have as far as they safer score they safer score looks good i i will honestly say that this will probably be a good company for maybe a a two-year driver maybe a three-year driver hell i even go as far as to say a 10-year driver such as myself if i wasn't making what i'm making i would say that but i any drivers with with 25 30 years or more now you i guess you'll just choose it based on your preference that's that's what i say me if i was a 30-year driver and i was offered 60 cent i probably would just keep looking but I'm, I'm just saying, as of right now, the way the market is and the way trucking is going right now, and again, like I said, it's not a driver's market out there for trucking companies. So maybe 60 cent a mile would, would, would be what you would take right now. So Atlanta or Nebraska, Nebraska, what what I say? Atlant, Atlantic, Nebraska, Atlantic. That's the name. Nebraska, Atlantic transportation out of Las Las Vista, Nebraska. If you guys are interested in the company, they the information for the company will be in the description below. I'm I'm looking at them photos. Oh you oh Ooh. you pulled oh you pulled it up. Yeah yeah Yo, yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy yeah yeah yo i hope his ass got fired yeah. dude coming out the truck coming out the truck backwards and backwards <laughs> his ass his ass he gotta be gone he yeah. gotta be gone i think when, when was when when was the review made what was it last year or this year three months ago oh three, three months. months ago oh this was recent yeah. oh okay this was recent okay well, I, I'm being Damn. that this is recent. I'm going to assume that he's no longer with the company. I'm I'm going to I'm I'm going to assume that. Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to assume that he's no longer with the company. Who's next? Who's next?